All right, welcome to the channel. Um, it's a little bit of a different scenario. I am home alone. Have been for the past couple days, but I've been working. But today's a day off from work. Pop my calf muscle, so got you know, injured at work. Um, so no, I'm just working on projects now. Um, such a weekend injury didn't hurt too bad except for what happened i think i just pulled a muscle a little bit or stretched it a little too far and it was a sore for a little bit but feels better now uh the online or i guess the on-call nurse i guess is what you call it just recommended some ibuprofen and tylenol so it's doing good today don't feel anything yesterday was a little sore the day before was when it happened and hurt but got some projects that have gotten done in the recent weeks that I want to show you. So first project, got a new faucet installed. Um, the I guess the seal and this guy stopped working, so it didn't do. So when you turn it into showers, the water was still coming out of here. So fixed, and then put a new peel and stick seal around there. Did the um, reseal cone behind it and then on top of it looks like they still need to go over it another time we get some actual tape and do that though project number two was this was all broke apart and off and so that is now replaced siliconed over it need to go over it another time with the silicone again get some tape need to put around it so it's easy just to clean up after you get done doing that but done project number three was the dryer stopped working on us a couple weeks back ended up having to pull it away from the wall cleaning up the hose cleaning in behind it and then taking it apart to get to where the vent panel is and cleaning the vent the lint buildup that happened there because that buildup seized the blower fan and so got that all cleaned out it works good now clothes are drying again done all right so first steps to uninstalling the dishwasher is to turn off stuff so power's already off now i need to get in here turn off the hot water Turn on the hot water to the dishwasher. All right, how's wrong? We'll pull as a flathead. Should have grabbed my flashlight. Oh well. Two. that front off you want to take off your water supply likely because it's just left over. That's the lowest point in the line. junction box cover right here
black is power, man. Nope, that didn't hurt. Kind of shove that back towards the garbage disposal so you have room. Ah, there you go. Shove that back towards the dishwasher. You need to shove it back towards the dishwasher so you got room to pull it out of the cabinet. Take out the top mounting screws up here. There's one and two. So let's get those out. Two electrical uh, connections right here. I'll come off. One, two. All right, so get them lined up first that kind of like that yep. new coils in kind of make it fit now it's time to put the screws back on to lock them down and then kind of reverse order of what we just did to reinstall everything so, new coil is in I don't think you're supposed to do it that way, but it's a dumb pickle. The one has a 19 millimeter socket. And then I just went snug with one finger on there. Make sure you get your electrical back in. Your ground's gonna go to your ground clip. You got white to white, black to black. And if you don't have this ground right here, it's solid copper, might be the green one. This ground, gotta tighten that down. I get white to white, black to black. There you go, for electrical. this back correctly on this is the drain and it goes to the garbage disposal so you kind of want to make sure that the garbage disposal is also clean so it can drain properly okay. that's in all right before i All right, before I finish, like putting all the other stuff back onto it, uh, the skirts, the side panels and stuff, I'm gonna turn it on to make sure there's no leaks. And I just, I don't wanna put everything back together and have to tear it all apart. Might as well just test and see if it, turns on if the water turns on good no leaks and then we'll test it further from there 
So, dishwasher back on and back inside. Sounds good. I had to undo the hot water line and redo it because there was a leak. So I think I kind of cross threaded it a little bit and just re-threaded it and put it back on. So and that's going back together just fine. Now I need to get the rest of the insulation and stuff back on and under it. Get the side pieces on and then this project will be done. Off to the next one. Hi, let's see that shiner. Oh, you gotta look at the camera. He ran into like a bush or something, or like a tree. Oh my gosh, there's this one, like. Nature uh, is giving him black eyes. Huh? Mother Nature is giving him black eyes. Yeah. 